Hey guys, I am Murali. I hope you are all doing well. My intention for this channel is to share my knowledge and also learn from others. So let's collaborate. In today's video, we are going to explore about how the customer credit transfer happens in the FedNow clearing. In other words, how the ISO 2022 message PAX008 is being used for the customer credit transfer. In addition to this, we will just understand the various other messages involved in this end-to-end -end payment flow of FedNow service. Just like any kind of an electronic payment transfer, minimum two persons, two banks and one clearing system is required for this payment life cycle. In this case, the clearing and settlement will be done by the FedNow service. Initially, a person A wishes to send a payment to the person B so that person A sends a request to the bank where the account is held. The bank validates the request and creates an interbank value message and sends it to the FedNow service. Now, the FedNow service validates the payment request and simply forwards it to the bank B where person B holds account. Bank B once again validates the message and provides the positive acknowledgement for the payment request to the FedNow service. Upon receiving this positive acknowledgement, the FedNow service performs the settlement between Bank A and Bank B using their FedNow settlement account held in the central bank. As soon as the settlement is completed, then immediately it sends a confirmation to both Bank A and Bank B. Upon receiving this settlement confirmation from the FedNow, the Bank B proceeds to credit the person B's account. Now, Bank A also receives the same settlement confirmation from the FedNow. Then, they confirm the person A that the payment request is completed. Now, all of this flow between Bank A to Bank B and the settlement included will happen within 20 seconds of maximum time. Now, let's see the messages involved in the payment flow. Number one, person A initiates pain 001 payment initiation request to bank A. Then number two, bank A initiates PAX 008 customer credit transfer message to the FedNow service. Then number three, the FedNow service forwards the same PAX 008 customer credit transfer message to the bank B. Then, Bank B sends PAX002 payment status report as a positive acknowledgement to the FedNow service with the status code SACTC, which means Accepted Technical Confirmation. Then, the FedNow service performs the settlement. And number six, the FedNow sends the settlement confirmation using the same PAX002 payment status report to both the banks but this time they will use the different status code ACSC which means accepted and settlement completed. Then step 7, the bank B credits the customer account and sends CAMT054 credit advice to the person B. Then finally, the, number 8. The bank A sends the pain 002 payment initiation report to the person A with status code as ACSC, which means that payment is successful. But this step may be different for bank to bank. They will use their own communication to confirm back to the payment initiator. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something from it. Please leave your thoughts as a comments. I'll read and reply to you. Thank you for watching till the end and see you in the next video. Bye bye.